guy. All right, I saw this method for rendering some wax using a crock pot and some, a paint strainer. So Susie Baker from the South Brevard Beekeepers gave me a bag of scrapings, of comb scrapings that she had from some frames. Um, and I brought them home and I'll show you this technique that I saw on the internet and see how it works. We'll, we'll work at this together. Now it's using a crock pot and a paint strainer bag that I got from um, the, the local big box uh, hardware store. So I'll show you how I'm doing it and you tell me what you think in the comment section, okay? So here's the method I'm going to use. This is the bag of comb that Susie gave me. It was scraped out of a frame that wasn't viable anymore. So there's just leftover old comb, which is going to be wax and cocoons and maybe wax moth uh, webbing and some yucky stuff that's there on the, on the comb. But we're going to render the wax out of it. And I'm doing that with a crock pot and paint strainer bags. So I got a big crock pot, set it on high, put the paint strainer bag there. I'm using these elastic top strainer bags. It's a five gallon paint strainer bag. I've cut them in half because the crock pot's not five gallons. So I think I might get two uses from one bag by cutting it in half. And I've strapped that over with a rubber band holding it in place. And so it kind of has a dip to it. The wax is already starting to melt down into there. I put water, about a cup and a half or two cups of water at the bottom of the crock pot. So it'll kind of steam up the wax and melt it down through the paint strainer. And probably all I have left is the gunk in the top of the paint strainer bag after it all melts out. So we'll see how that works. It's kind of like some people boil it first and then strain it. This is kind of straining it at the same time that it's melting. We'll see if that works. Okay, we're going to check it again. Oh, there's a lot of melting going on. It's yucky. These are the uh, mostly cocoons and yucky stuff, but still at the top, and then probably a lot of good wax dripping down on the bottom. So it's working. I'm gonna pour some more of the comb in there and let time take its course. So I poured the rest of the comb from the bag in there. I'll just put the top back on and let it sit for a little while longer. Looking like it's working. Good stuff. Okay. So it's steamy down to the to the goopy goops. It's not a word, goopy goops, but it's pretty goopy. It's already starting to cool. I took the bag off and look at that beautiful yellow color. Oh my gosh, oh, it smells so good too. The bees have been going crazy. It smells so awesome. So it's uh, cooling and pulling away from the pot. So I'm going to let that cool for a couple more hours and then I'll see what kind of wax we got. All right. That is the wax. Um, nice and clean. It's cleaner than uh, the other method that I've used before. But. That's the little piece of wax that I got from all of that scraping. This has been the new beekeeper guy. Please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. I hope you liked the video. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.